In this video we're going to look at how to find the median for a list of numbers. So the median is the middle number whenever all the numbers are arranged numerically. So here we've got the numbers 4, 5, 2, 9 and 3. We've been asked to work out the median. So let's arrange them numerically from smallest to largest. So 2, then 3, then 4, then 5, then 9. So we've arranged all the numbers from smallest to largest. Let's just check we've got all of them. So we started with 5 and we've still got 5. Yep. And then we just cross them off until we find the middle one. So 2 and then 9, 3 and then 5. So the middle number is 4. That means the median is 4. So just to recap, the median is the middle number whenever all the numbers are arranged in numerical order from smallest to largest. So next. It says work out the median. So we've got the numbers 4, 3, 6 and 8. Now this time we've got an even number of numbers. So let's see what happens then. So 3 is the smallest, then 4, then 6, then 8. Again let's cross them off. So 3 and 8. Now this time I'm left with two numbers in the middle. If you're left with two numbers in the middle, what you do is you find the middle of those numbers. So in this case, because we've got 4 and 6, the middle of 4 and 6 is 5. We can see that using common sense. So the median is 5. So to find the median whenever there's an even number of numbers, you cross them off and you find the middle two, and then you get the middle of those two numbers. If you can't find the middle of the two numbers as easily as I could in this one, you can just add them together and half it. Let's see what happens. Four plus six is 10, and half that is five. So if you want to find the middle number and you're not sure what it is by looking at it, add the two middle ones together and half it. Okay, next. This time we've got, work out the median of eight, nine, seven, four, two, and 10. So let's again arrange them in numerical order. So 2, 4, 7, 8, 9, and 10. We've still got six numbers. And let's just cross them off. So smallest, biggest, and so on. And again, this time we're left with 2 in the middle. So this time, because there's 2 in the middle, again, we need to go in the middle of 7 and 8. Well, the middle of 7 and 8, well, it's going to be 7.5. So the median is 7.5. Again, you could add them together. 7 plus 8 is 15, and half it is 7.5, or you can just use common sense. And finally, this time we've been asked to work out the median of 10, 4, 4, and 2. So again, let's arrange them. 2, 4, 4, and 10. Let's cross off and find the middle one. So 2 and 10. But this time again, we've got two numbers in the middle because we started off with an even number of numbers. So because it's 4 and 4, well, the middle of 4 and 4 is 4. So the median is 4. So if you get the same number in the middle, you just choose that number. And again, you could test it using you know the method of adding and halving it. 4 plus 4 is 8, half it is 4. So if you get the same number in the middle twice, you just choose that number. So to find the median, you just arrange your numbers numerically from smallest to largest, cross them off until you find the middle one. If you've got two in the middle, you just need to find the middle of those two values. And that's it.